Priscilla Mercedes back with another YouTube posting. We back, we back, we back, we back, we back. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead on and hit that subscribe button first. And throughout the video, if you would like to comment down below any of your thoughts that you feel, go on and do that. And also hit the like button. Make sure you guys share. Drusilla Mercedes, we are back with another posting. Let's get right Hi, into it. Hi, you guys. So we're going to jump right into it. I'm going to get straight into it. Now, uh, as you guys saw by the title and all of that, you already know what this story is going to be based about. Now, with everything that's going on with the COVID-19, you would think that America has enough going on. People, humans, period, have enough going on in their life to where why harm each other? Why hurt each other? We have so much to where we can, a lot of things that can join us together, but obviously that doesn't matter at this point. So I want to jump right into the story. I'm going to be looking off a lot because I have notes and I want to state facts. This video is basically going to ba be based on facts. Personal opinion will come into play, but it's going to be based on facts. That's it. So I just don't want to do the back and forth thing, but let's just get right into it. So this is based on jogging while black. So Ahmad Aubrey was jogging in the neighborhood. This is what he's known to do. He's known to exercise. He's known to stay fit. So he's jogging and all of a sudden two men come out and murder him. That's basically what happened. He, he was murdered jog while jogging while black. Basically what happened, right? So the fellas that came into play were Greg McMichael and Travis McMichael. Greg Gregory is his actual name. He's the actual father in this situation. Travis McMichael is the actual son in this situation. Now, Matt, Gregory McMichael, he stated there has been a lot of burglary in his area of where he lived, right? He stated there was over six burglaries, six, five to six burglaries that have happened over time, one including him. He was, you know, involved in a burglary where somebody robbed his, uh, went in his car, robbed him of his belongings in his car. So, obviously, he sees a black male. I don't know why people can't distinct the difference of jogging and running. Like, if you're in a panic mode and you're running, it'll show panic mode of running. But if you're jogging, don't you get a different type of feel of someone jogging? Oh, he's just black running in the neighborhood. Oh, he's running for a reason, right? Okay, I th just thought I should mention that. We should be able to distinct the two, right? So, Gregory Michael, because of his previous case, he said he was burglarized. So, of course, he sees a black man running in the neighborhood. Oh, he must be up to something, right? So, he calls in. This is where I'm going to insert this. Gregory met Michael stated, there have been several break-ins in the neighborhood. And further, the suspect was caught on surveillance video, met Michael stated. He was in his front yard and saw the suspect from the break-in hauling ass down Satella Drive towards Buford Drive. Okay. Did you actually physically see him burglarizing someone's home? Did you actually see him breaking in someone's car? You were in your front yard, right? So why was it a fact that Oh, okay, you see him running, but the first thing you think of, oh, my car was broken into. That's why you feel like he was running because he was doing it to someone else. That makes no sense. If you're in your front yard and you're you're just relaxing and all of a sudden you see someone running, you don't just think, oh, they're exercising. So when a white man runs in the neighborhood, they're not burglarizing homes. They're exercising. That's the first thing you think of, right? So when you see a black man running in a neighborhood, the first thing you think of is they're up to no good. They're doing something they shouldn't be doing or, oh, they don't belong here. So <laughs> the great minds of the McMichaels felt the need to jump in their car and chase this man down. The first thing I thought of in this situation was the KKK. You know, back in those times where they used to literally chase, chase like they hog, you know, Back in the South, you know, they chase hogs and roosters and all that, chickens and stuff. They chase them down. They rile them up, cows and all of that. So the first thing you think of is to jump in your cars, get loaded guns. Both of you all, matter of fact, had loaded guns. Both of you. So you felt the need to jump in your car with two loaded guns. Your son had a gun and you had a gun. And chase down a man that was just jogging because you assumed he was burglarizing and up to no good. So, 
Of course, Greg McMichaels, because of his previous situation, he felt the need to confront the confront the guy. As you see in the video, if you guys, I'm not going to insert the video because it is very graphic, but if you guys go and search the video, you can actually see Hamid running in the opposite direction because Travis was in the bed of the truck pointing at him like with a gun. So the first thing of my things probably is to dodge and run the opposite direction and he sees the dad right there so you know there's a confrontation that happens like how would you feel you're running and all of a sudden somebody blocks off your way of running and confronts you with guns wouldn't you feel a little timid wouldn't you feel that's that's a a conversation that should be had Hamid was a very mature person in the situation to where he felt the need okay now I need to either get into defense mode and confront this situation head on so th this situation doesn't escalate obviously because Mr. Gregory if you know he's been an investigator he has been in the law enforcement field he has been in this field he think it's okay to take it into his own hands right so he escalates the situation, a situation that could have actually been avoided if Hamid was actually Come coming on. over to resolve the situation after being confronted with gun was very mature. But for him to, Mr. Gregory, to escalate the situation to something else, it was just unnecessary and we lost a life behind it. A mother has lost a son behind this. So let's go into some more facts, you guys. So, I want to bring up Jackie Johnson. Jackie Johnson is the Brunswick District Attorney, right, in Georgia. Now, she was offered the case, but she declined to take the case because, you know, she's known Mr. Gregory Mac Michael, you know, due to him being an investigator in the local area. So, you know, they've also all been in the same vicinity of, you know, work, in the same work because, you know, he's been in the area, right? And he's been, he's in a vet. He was known to be an investigator. Girl, I'm, just, I'm into it. So, she declined this case. Now, in the defense, the Matt Michael says both claims their defense was self defense. The reason they thought they can approach a man, a black man, and think it's okay to approach him with guns and animosity. And think it's okay and think it's going to scare him. But little did he know, he knew how to defend himself. So you guys get into a scruffle. You think, okay, let me defend myself now that it's escalating. You guys are actually physically fighting. Let me defend myself by shooting him. So in the mind, you already came out with the conclusion of, oh, someone's gonna, someone's not going to leave this situation alive. Because you both, you and your son, thought to bring guns in this situation. Now, the district attorney, she claims, okay, we're not going to say this is self-defense because you guys are obviously not going to win the case. Let's take this as a citizen arrest defense. Citizen's arrest defense? Okay, so let's define a citizen's arrest defense. Defense. A citizen's arrest will allow a retail estab establishment to apprehend someone they think may be shoplifting. That's why this law was taken into place in Georgia. This law is to protect people in retail environment. So that's why this was actually taken into place. This is what's getting to me because they're claiming self-defense, but the district's attorney that actually knows him is claiming, oh, this might be taken into a citizen's arrest defense. But this is not going to work over well with these guys because they went into the mindset of this situation with animosity, with ill will, and it's just not going to work out in their favor. Now, I want to bring this up. Now, he stated that there were seven burglaries, right, in his area, and he felt he needed to protect his area. Now, if you go and look up this area, because all of this information is public now, you can actually notice there were actually only one burglary in the area. No, they don't claim if it was white or a uh, black person. They don't know. They don't know if it was male or female, but one burglary. So you take a young man's life because of one burglary and you know, neighbors have neighbors backs and all, but that situation was definitely escalated. 
there definitely needs to be criminal charges filed on both the father and the son because this is completely unacceptable. We are going through enough as it is in the times that we are in to be less worried about having to go out scared to go get exercise because we don't know what the next person might be feeling or what they're they're scared of our skin. They're scared of our skin. I don't get it. I just really don't get it. So for a man to lose his life over just something so just silly because of pride and it was because of pride at this point it was because of pride i just don't get it i really don't and it's kind of upsetting me there definitely needs to be criminal charges on both on both parties and that's the son and the father it definitely needs to be so I just want to, um, if you guys would like to comment down below, um, any other facts that you might want to dispute or anything you might want to add in, I would hugely appreciate it going on and hit the like bell, going on and comment your thoughts. I really want you guys to start commenting down below because I really want to interact in the conversation with you guys. I want to get to know my subscribers. I want to get to know the people that watch my videos. I want to know what you guys look for, what you guys expect out of this channel so if you guys want to go on hit the like button comment down below your thoughts again and hit the subscribe button hit the bell while you're at it because it's right next to it okay so i'm gonna leave you guys i love you you all be blessed be safe and stay cautious you guys thank you <laughs>